Okay, I said I wasn't going to do all of them, so this one I'm just going to start for you. Let's make this a little bigger. We're asked to show the reaction with complete mechanism that occurs when the compound below is exposed to water under acidic conditions. So let's put our arrow here. And remind ourselves we have H plus H2O. So the first step in the reaction, as always, don't forget lone pairs of electrons. Let's put our lone pairs of electrons on this nitrogen. There's a lone pair there. And hopefully we'll see that when we have that acidic catalyst, the H plus is our catalyst, we protonate something. What are we going to protonate? We have two options to protonate here. We can protonate the nitrogen, or we can use that double bond to protonate the carbon. Nitrogens tend to be good bases. So imines are also good bases. So let's protonate it first. So we're going to have H plus, And I'm going to put H2 over here just so we don't forget. You use my green arrow. And all we're going to do in the first step is protonate that nitrogen. Let's put this arrow back. Let's give it back its lone pair of electrons. There we go. So we got rid of these lone pair of electrons and we put a proton there. Okay. So now what are we going to do? We've protonated our imine. Let's put our equilibrium arrows. We always want to remember these reactions are equilibriums. When in doubt, the reaction's in equilibrium. It's just a matter of how far that equilibrium lies. Okay, so we've protonated it. We also have to remember we have a molecule of water here. So we've protonated our imine We've probably made that thing an electrophile. We have water, and we know that water oftentimes can be a good nucleophile. Okay? So what we're going to do now is just react our water by attacking okay so we have our nitrogen in a six-membered ring. There's the ring that we had. We have a hydrogen there. We no longer have that positive charge there. We've also added water. So here we have uh, the equivalent of an acetal. The equivalent of a hemiacetal, I suppose. Oh! Let's not forget our positive charge on the oxygen. We have an amino alcohol, but all we're going to want to do now is move one of these protons from here to the nitrogen. And with it, the positive charge will go, and then you're going to want to break that bond. Okay? So see if you can get to the final product. The final product is. Uh, an amino ketone. I'll even draw you here the final product with my laser so that it disappears. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be a ketone, 
and that ketone is going to have a methyl group on it and we're going to have an NH2 there. That is going to be our final product. Okay, Let's see if you can get there starting from here. Don't forget you want to move this proton onto that nitrogen then break that bond and then at the final step will release a proton uh, it is a catalyst number seven i'll start you off the following enamine can be made by the reaction of amino ketone in the presence of a catalytic amount of acid so the same thing is going to happen this reaction you're going to have acid and h2o now there's a couple of things that are different here uh, this is an ene amine and if you remember ene amines are the result of a ketone or aldehyde i'm going to say ketone might be an aldehyde plus a secondary amine can give us enamine plus water. So the reverse reaction, an enamine plus water, will give you a ketone and a secondary amine. We want to be careful. This could also be an aldehyde. Okay. See if we can figure it out. One of the things you want to remember is that nitrogen is attached to the carbon that was the carbonyl carbon. So, oops. So this carbon is the carbonyl carbon. And that's going to be your secondary amine group. Finally, provide two different synthetic pathways for the following compound utilizing a Wittig reaction. So you just break that in half and see if you can get there. But all you have to do is break that bond and put a oxygen there. Okay. And we could have broken it the other way and put our oxygen here so these are the two compounds you could have you could have made it from this or you could have made it from this